Hello and welcome once again to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung and what I have here is a human femur. This happens to be a right femur and the way that I know that is because the head of the femur articulates with the hip and points medially and this bottom part of the femur these point to the rear so when I put this up against my body this points medially so I know it goes it belongs in my hip and um, then I look down here and see if this points backwards it should point backwards if it doesn't then I put it on the wrong side for example if I put it on the left on the left so put it on the right points backwards and the head points in the right direction so that tells me that I have the right femur for the features of the femur the head I already mentioned this is the head the neck of the femur is here, this is the neck. The greater trochanter is this nice large knobby thing off to the side. It's for muscle attachment. The lesser trochanter is down here. The medial and lateral condyles are here. This one is medial and this one is lateral condyle and you know this one's the medial condyle because again the head points medially so the condyle that's on the same side as the head is the medial condyle um, intercondylar fossa is between the condyles so that would be the intercondylar fossa and those are all of the features of the femur that you need to know, at least for my class. Um, as always, any questions, comments, feel free to email, call me. And thank you for watching.